All right, hello, digital photo students. I'm gonna give you one more approach to working on your Ansel Adams photos and getting that dark room effect that Ansel Adams was so well known for. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open up another one of my photos. And uh, let's see here, let's go ahead and work with um, this fun picture that I took uh, on a hike the other day out above Pirate's Cove. All right, so here's a picture here. Again, we have some interesting foreground detail. We've got some interesting things in the midground, and we've got this cool um, collection of clouds and a little bird in the background. All right, one of the first things that I'm going to do here again is create the adjustment layer for black and white. I'm going to go ahead and drop that on. And you can see over here, we've got the black and white look going, but uh, you know, I can probably beef up the contrast in this a little bit. And again, I like to go in and I like to drop my blues down a little bit. I like to drop my cyans down a little bit, which uh, helps kind of soften up the sky and create a little bit more contrast in the clouds there. Okay. Um, this one, I might be able to bring my yellows down a little bit because of that stone there. I think that might make some of the yellows detail pop out a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to close this off. Um, next, I'm going to put an adjustment layer on this. And last time I did this, I used the dodge and burn tool quite a bit. Okay, this time I'm going to put a clipping mask on some of these adjustment layers. And I'm going to show you how um, we can use that to our advantage. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, um, let's just use levels on this one. Okay, and here we can go ahead and uh, I can go ahead and pull this in. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of overdo it on this. I want that to be extra dark in there to make that stone stand out. I'm gonna bring this in to make it kind of extra bright. So we're gonna uh, play with this histogram and, and get more dark pixels, more bright pixels, and kind of reduce the range in the middle, okay? And uh, after I do that, I can go ahead and close this. And now if I want to, I'm gonna go ahead and go into clipping mask mode here. I'm gonna grab my brush and I'm going to actually remove, I'm sorry, I wanted to switch there. So I wanna remove, I gotta get into pure black here. Okay. I'm gonna remove some of this adjustment layer that I just put onto it. Okay, so where I really like what this adjustment layer did here in the bottom, in this mid-ground section here, it's darkening it up too much. So I'm gonna grab my magnifying glass, I'm gonna zoom in here, I'm gonna look at this area, and then I'm going to take my brush um, that's loaded with black, I'm gonna drop that hardness down a little bit, increase the size, maybe bigger than that, let's get out right about here. Okay, and now you see, um, as I brush this on, I'm going to be removing that adjustment layer, okay? So here you see I've kind of um, taken this area. Let me back that up at Control D, okay? So you see down here, the adjustment layer made this uh, part of the stone, which was a lot, a lot brighter, I think, because of the way the sun was hitting it and it was closer to me. And then this area in the center here was starting to get a little darker. So, um, I don't want that to be quite so dark. I do like what the adjustment layer did down here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use this tool here and I'm going to try and kind of um, brush away the parts of the photo that I don't want to appear quite so dark. So I'm gonna run over the top of this. Okay, I'm definitely gonna go into this bush right here, maybe make it a little bit smaller. Okay, there we go. And um, then definitely go over here and kind of accentuate this. So I'm gonna kind of blend that into the sky a little bit more. There we go. So this is another technique you can use to create emphasis. Um, I've got this kind of, I don't know if this was a lens flare or if it's just a part of the stone that's a little bit brighter, but I'm gonna go ahead and um, remove things here just to make this kind of create um, a line of emphasis that kind of runs up the hill uh, towards this kind of interesting point that I have up here, okay? So I've got this kind of working as like a uh, leading line to take your eye up to the top here. If I wanted to, I could see what it looked like if I took it out of the clouds a little. Mm -hmm. I think uh, here I'd probably go back in and this is where, okay, I've used my clipping mask. I've added uh, an adjustment layer. I kind of went over the top with it. And then I'm going to go ahead and kind of brush it off in different places where I won't 
see it or I don't want to see it. And um, now I'm going to go over this with my sharpening tool. Okay, so I'm going to go in and we'll just brush across this area right here and that'll sharpen it a little bit, get a little bit more detail because it started looking a little bit soft. All right, definitely going to go up in the clouds and use this sharpness tool because I, I like the shape and the texture inside the clouds. So I want to make that kind of stand out a little bit more. All right, and um, yeah, you know, just showing you some techniques. And for each one of your photos, you're going to apply this differently. Um, and I think the more you do it, uh, the more you're going to kind of understand the concept um, and get stronger at it. Okay, so make sure when you are working on your Ansel in your neighborhood photos, you take some time to work those in Photoshop and use a few of the techniques that I've showed you. All right. You guys all take care. Again, if you have any questions, um, get in touch with Mr. Roper or I, and we'll definitely help you out. Okay. All right. That's it.